All right, guys, we're back with another episode of the Masochist series. So first of all, credit to Simo, you invented it. Uh, but second of all, do you want to make your Master Duel experience a whole lot better? Are you ready to take your Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel play experience to a new level? The Untapped GG Companion is here for you. Use the deck tracker to know exactly what cards you have in your deck and to go over any cards you aren't familiar with yet by hovering over them. It instantly updates when you draw a card and automatically hides if you check your extra deck or graveyard. This is the perfect tool to help you master a new deck. The Untapped GG Companion also lets you import decks directly into the game in seconds. Copy any YDK or YDKE deck string, create a new deck in game, click the Start Auto Import button, and let us take the wheel. Once the duel is over, check your win rate on your personal stats page. Brag among your friends and share your deck so they can import them into the game too. Start your path to master today by downloading the Untapped GG Companion at ygom.untapped.gg. All right, guys, we're back. So here's the deck so far. I've got a few little things going on here. I'm, I'm considering Field Commander Ralts. He's maybe going in, maybe not going in. Uh, so far, I have put in this Light Ray Greffer, but Field Commander Ralts might actually be better because he does search a warrior. And then this Amazonas card is good, but we don't have enough Amazonas cards. So that's, I don't think, is going in. Stealth, Stealth Bird is good if we set up like a slow down game state. Same thing with Dark Door. It just kind of slows down the game state. Uh, like there's a lot of cards that I'm poss thinking about playing. But at this moment, uh, I can't really uh, see myself playing. I'm probably going to replace the Light Imprisoning Mirror just because it's just so specific to the light matchup. So I might play this instead. But then again, when we play against a light deck, it's kind of like an auto win. Um, so I'll try the Dark Door for a little while, so I'll just save that and go into a game. It's not the best, it's not the worst. There's just not a lot, of, a lot of light decks in the meta. Like, yeah, it's good against Blue Eyes if we play against it. It's good against maybe uh, Exo Sisters if we play against but for the most part, it's not that good. Uh, but let's go get into some games. Alright guys, we're back. Our opponent won the coin flip, and they chose to go first. Uh, Alright. Hand is pretty decent. I don't, I don't I don't know what our opponent's playing. If it's something absolutely busted, uh, we're just going to scoop it up. Temple of the King. So far, it's not anything too crazy. It could be Labyrinth, in which case, it's still annoying. But the fact that he's playing Temple of the Kings may be okay. I don't... I, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what's going on. This seems like it's a it's a duel that could be winnable. It, it doesn't seem like totally outrageous. By the way, we got deranked, but I don't care about being deranked because it's not like we're going to be getting to any uh, really, really good rank with this deck right now anyway, so it doesn't even matter that we're deranked. Um, let's see, what does this do? All right, so this is not really that great. Honestly, I think we just go Angus and just attack with Angus. I think that's that's our that's the move here. Our opponent doesn't have the best opening here. Alright, that is quite something. So he's playing the Ishizu stuff. Earth Fairies. Probably going to be dead. I don't want him to tribute this. And I think it's going to be dead anyway. So I'm just going to go ahead and activate Parallel Twister. The reason I'm doing this, like I said, I think that this card's going to be dead because he's playing like a full Earth Dairy Fairy deck. So I'm just going to pop this right now because that has like a tribute effect that's actually kind of good and I don't want to lose right now. And on card advantage, we're even, so it's not really that big of a deal. We have Santa Claus to out anything really, really good, but this way uh, we get rid of a dead card and we get something good in return. So far, like I said, this seems like it's fairly winnable. This, this, this guy seems like he opened maybe the newer pack and just kind of built the deck out of it. That's not too bad. The Amazement Train... Um, I really don't have anything, so I'm just going to go ahead and set the Dark Resonator. Maybe put this down here. and my turn. Yeah, I don't know what, what he has face down. I don't want to attack until like 2,000 attack monsters. Our life points are exactly even, obviously, because he burned both of us. But this is the kind of game you want to see. It's nice, slow down. It's not like we're playing against full power, uh, Pearly, full power, Kashtira, full power, Labyrinth. We're playing against a reasonable deck here. Uh... Yeah, this is all fine. I'm going to turn off the chaining for a moment here. What can we draw that would help us right now? See, if we had normal summon barrier statue, we actually probably would have just stopped this. But then again, I, I don't want to like go into barrier statue yet. I don't want to go into barrier statue yet because we don't have any kind of established board. And all he has to do is just summon a monster with 
more attack or defense than the barrier stats. You see, this would have killed him. So this dude survives twice. This is a pretty good card. I wish we had this card, actually. Yeah, this card's pretty awesome. Yeah, we're not in a great game state right now. That's not really... Oh, that with the barrier statue is actually kind of good. Yeah, that with the barrier statue, I think, does a lot for us. All right, I think we have a little barrier statue control going here. Main phase two. Definitely power frame. Because the, the gain off of this is permanent, so please, I hope he attacks with the uh, quad on the clear sighted and doesn't attack with the Ra's Disciple. Oh, man. Oh, actually, that's good. <laughs> actually, that's good. Oof. This card can be targeted. Everything's fine on it. If he pays the life points, everything's fine. We're literally about to steal the attack of this Winged Dragon of Raw onto our Fire Barrier statue. We're going to steal the attack. Oh, this is so perfect. This is so perfect. Oh, abs What? Why couldn't I... Oh, is it can't be targeted or something? What happened? Oh, I turned off the chaining. Why did I do that? Oh, my God. Why did I do that? Uh, oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Thank God it's fine. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> we always have Vidjam to rescue us. I literally had the nicest play. I had that game absolutely won. And I, I turned off the chaining earlier. Why? It's always something stupid. It's, it's, it's always something stupid. I turn chaining off. It, it doesn't even matter though because we have the goat coming out. But now this, this is going to take a lot longer than it needs to. But he has 100 life points. So we inflict any life points whatsoever. We win. Let's see. Well, he can ash... You gotta be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me, man. That is that is just devastating. That is just so devastating. I'm such an idiot. Like, why did I even turn the chaining off? I turned the chaining off so this card wouldn't bother us and it ends up beating us. That is just so stupid. That is unbelievable. That is just the stupidest, most winnable game that we lost for no reason. That is just so stupid. That's like unbelievable. It's like I, I, I don't even know what to say. All right, we just won the coin flip after that devastating, stupid ass loss. Uh, this hand is always I don't know why. When we go first, we get like just four monsters, we have five monsters. Like, what am I gonna do with this? Normal summon end my turn. Hopefully, they're playing Kashdir and can't get over this. That's that's our best bet. Uh, but uh, this is probably gonna be a loss because yeah, hopefully they're playing like no negates. Like they don't. It's, Hopefully they're playing cash deer and they don't have imperm. Like that's our very, 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 very best bet. I, I I don't know how we always end up with like hands like this. Cannot attack directly or attack monsters from the extra deck. Unaffected by monsters activated in the extra like he just has the perfect out. It's like a monster that's a normal summon 2400. But at least this is this is nice to see. Like this is not like busted. This is not absolutely like disgusting, but we literally have no out to this. <laughs> like as, as 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 not good as this is, we don't have an out to this. Like it, this is unreal. Just a handful of just monsters. I I still can't believe we lost that game last turn. I mean, the last duel that was just such a stupid, unnecessary loss that is just so avoidable. Like. Last last duel, I'm, I'm like so disappointed. And this duel is just like, what is this? We draw five monsters. Half our deck is spawn trap cards. We draw five monsters. Like, why even bother going first if these are the hands we're going to get? And this card is actually kind of good, this thing. The uh, Storm Cypher, like actually a half decent card. Can't attack directly or attack monsters from the extra monsters. Are unaffected by monsters in the extra monster zone. Cannot be destroyed by battle with monsters in the extra monster zone. But it's 2400 normal summon. He should have just attacked with this first because this can't attack directly. We have no link monsters. So this, this is the why I wanted to remove the Marauding Captain because he's just not like... We don't have any link monsters so we can't really utilize his effects unfortunately yet. You have got to be kidding me man. We've got to be kidding me. Alright I can discard. Okay that's actually not bad. So I can discard the... Santa Claus to summon the light greffer, which I will do and then I'm going to try to go into I'm going to try to go into some I'm going to try to go into the the sous ship. That's what I'm going to do 
And then since I might use Photon later, or I might use Marauding Captain later, I'm going to go into the Kanoichi. What does this do? I can banish a Light Monster from my deck, but that just doesn't really benefit us in any way right now. So you can go into Sioux Ship or the um, Ma Magic Key Monster. I'm going to go into the Sioux Ship because he actually does pop cards after he battles. Now, based on what I'm seeing on his field and the level of play here, I would imagine he probably has a Battle Trap. But I, I, I don't have any other play, so I'm just going to make the play that makes the most sense right now. Yep, got to activate this, and then we got to out. This dude is in damage step, so he can't, like, respond with anything. So the Sioux Ship's already coming in. That's, that's, that's pretty good. The Sioux Ship already came in handy. I realized last time, like, a little too late into this, that, that the Sioux Ship was actually quite good for us. I can only imagine what's going on back here. Hopefully we don't we don't screw up the way we did a second ago with the uh, chaining. This guy already came up though, Light Light Greffer. He's a free special summon if we just discard uh, a level level five or higher Light Monster. He's already coming in handy. That that was a nice little combination there. All right, the Amazonist Beast Tamer. And this is what do I do? Do I? I don't want to overextend here because if that's a Mirror Force, we just lose everything. Um. But at the same time, I feel like we need to get the damage in. So we can summon this and then summon this out. We could do that or we could just summon the Crusher. So I'm, I think I'm just going to summon the Crusher because like I said, I don't want to overextend. I don't know what else he has down there. I don't know what kind of deck he's playing and I don't want to get Mirror Forced and lose everything. This is going on. And that sucks. Yeah, we have no way to out this guy. This guy's got to be playing... He's got to be playing the Masochist. He has the most random shit. Uh, yeah, okay, that's good, actually. Because that means we can out this next turn. So I think we just enter battle. Attack over the Galaxy Cleric. Switches to defense, yep. And then main phase two. And next turn, we can out. We can use Dimension Slice to out the this right here. Because we can use Marauding Captain, Normal Summon, Special Summon, and then Banish. So we finally have an out to this thing. Yeah, yeah well, first time it's destroyed by battle, it's not destroyed. This card's pretty cool, though. Like I said, this is nice, generic. It's actually a pretty decent card. Pretty interesting. He's got to be a masochist. He absolutely must be. He has just the most random combination of cards that aren't helpful at all. So they have to be in some way affiliated. All right, so then we go this. Yes, activate. Uh, we go into... You know what's funny? I would have made possibly the rank 4, but we drew the card that we would be able to search off the rank 4. So I'm going to go ahead and summon this. Yep, activate Dimension Slice. And banish this. Alright. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Like I said, I would make the rank 4, but we literally... The only card... The search is... Um, a monster, right? And the summon you detect and then add a... Level 4 or lower from Graveyard or Deck, but I mean, we literally drew it, so there's no point. Yeah, base, he's got nothing going on back in the back row there. Th this has to be another Masochist. I mean, this is just... There's just a lot going on on this. Like, it's crazy to have five cards. I know, I know the feeling, though. I know the feeling of having five cards set in your back row and doing absolutely nothing with them. I've, I've, I've been in the exact same situation. It just depends on if he draws a monster here. No way. This dude's back. Galaxy Dragon. Absolutely terrible. Can only attack dragons. Yep. Sorry. <laughs> Can't, can only attack dragons, can't attack directly, and then he gains a thousand when he attacks a dragon. This card is absolutely god-awful if you ever... I'd, I'd rather play a monster with a hundred attack. It is so specific. Yeah, it's fine. So next turn we have our little plan here. We just attack it, crash, and then uh, we have more than enough for a game there. Sonic Chick, we'll save that just in case. Just in case on the off chance he has like a storming mirror force or something, we'll save it in the back row. Um, yeah, let's do that. Battle phase, crash these two. And then get in for game. 
So at least we got it. We we got a win after a, a like, not even like a, I don't even know what to call it. Like a a a misclick. After our small misclick, uh, we we got a nice quick win. I'm gonna go check out what deck this guy was playing. All right, we got a reward pack here. We just won though. All right, this is our opponent's deck. I actually don't know if he is a masochist. I actually think what he has is the. Uh, he bought the structure deck, the Galaxy Eye structure deck, and he just bought I, I, what I would imagine is one of them. And then he just threw it into a pile of cards. He honestly should have beaten us. Uh, he's not a masochist. He should have beaten us. I don't know why he didn't beat us. But ba this is the kind of back row that he had in, in back, back there that he wasn't able to uh, utilize. So let's go open the pack. All right, for our master pack, here we go. This is our 20... I believe this is our 25th master pack, actually. So we'll see what we get. Very excited about something new here. Hopefully we get some cool cards to play with. Uh, this is another card for the Fossil Fusion. And it's our second copy of Miracle Rupture. Okay, we don't have any uh, other Super Heavy Samurais right now. But that's not bad. Uh, this is getting a Structure Deck. But this is one of the worst cards in the deck. So unfortunately that's not good. Uh, Sprine doesn't help anything. Because I don't think we have Fallen of Alabaz and Effect Monster. Or a way to send this to the Graveyard. Uh, King Synchro, I don't think we can utilize this anyway, just because we cannot Synchro Summon anything at this point. Uh, Royal Knight of the Ice Barrier, uh, all this does is summon us a token, but we have nothing to utilize that token for right now, so that doesn't really do anything. Uh, Katakuri, this doesn't help us in any way, and yeah, I just, I don't, I don't think that benefits us. And Ancient Gear Fortress is a decent card, but again, I just don't think that this uh, can really benefit us because we don't have enough Ancient Gear cards. So this this pack has been a complete um, waste. Maybe the Royal Knight of the Ice Barrier can. This card is probably the best of the cards that we pulled because it can get it, this card by itself will get us into the Marincess um, Link Monster. So I guess that is in some ways good, but like other than that, I don't think that anything in this pack so far is usable. All right, now we've got our legacy ticket. Uh, this is our, I think, 42nd legacy ticket. So I'm going to try to keep a, a count of how many of every ticket and stuff that we've opened. Uh, this is good because it's a tuner, but I don't think it's actually uh, usable. Just destroy the monster zone. You could equip it to one Dragoonity instead of sending it to the graveyard. That's not bad. It's a tuner. Like, all that's nice, but uh, we just don't have anything to do with it. And then this card's not terrible if we were playing a bunch of these things right here but we don't so uh the the packs were just duds out of this first one and i deserve that because of that first loss all righty we just lost the coin flip and i believe our opponent chose for them to go first um they're going first so of course we draw a bunch of uh, battle traps and usable cards um yeah we'll see we'll see what they're playing though this could be anything they're setting already which is sometimes a good sh sometimes that's a good thing sometimes that's a bad thing uh, but in this particular case, it could just go either way. If this is uh, our, our nemesis, if this is a labyrinth, we're just gonna we're just gonna pack our stuff up and get out of here. But obviously, can't tell what's going on. This guy does no direct damage, so we're just gonna go with Zubaba and try to get in for some damage. Or right, we have a ton of back row. Uh, if this is labyrinth, this is just totally useless against them anyway. Lose to labyrinth. Okay. Yep, I'm out of here. Alrighty. Alright, I'm so, so, so excited. So we actually chose to go... Um, we chose to go first. So we won the coin flip, we chose to go first. Uh, we're going to set this... I See, this dark door is like... I'm already thinking about removing the dark door. Because, like, it slows, it slows them down a lot. But at the same time, it's like, we got to get in and do some damage too. So I, I'm not even like that excited about the card. Like, I don't even want to activate it right now. That's the crazy thing. I don't even want to activate the Dark Door. Because it actually, I'm, I'm probably going to take it out right after and put like literally anything else in it. I actually don't. I, it's, it's a better Floodgate, technically speaking, than, uh, than the Light Imprisoning Mirror. But I want to know what my opponent's playing before I commit to like one monster per turn attacking. Uh, because they could just summon a big monster, and then I have no out to the big monster that they summon, and then I just lose. So that can be annoying. But we do have Cubic Ascension, which is already, you know, it's, it's already something. Cubic Ascension is putting in work. Chicken Game, I, I don't know how that's going to go, but that's already decent to see right there. I don't think this is self DK because they don't have the rabbit with the, with, the, with the Chinese name. They don't have any of that going on right now. 
So I don't think it's self-decay. Maybe this is like... Okay, we'll take it. Um, no, I'm not going to pop his card. I'm going to draw. Are you insane? We need card advantage. Alright, so we activate this. Draw a card. I don't know what he's playing. I don't care. Uh, flip this. I think we make the Sioux ship attack, pop this, and then our opponent can't draw off of it. And uh, they lose the life points anyway. I think that's what we do. Yeah, we go into the Sioux ship. Oh, but I don't want to go into Sioux ship at the same time because then I'll, then my unexpected die thing is going to be a dead card. Yeah, expendable die is going to be dead if I do this. So maybe I, I do that next turn. I do that next turn. So right now I'm going to attack for 18. Since we have the same life points, he takes life point damage. And now he can't take life point damage anymore because of the chicken game. No point to attack. Um, and then we set this. And... We set this in pass. Yep, we set this in pass. Honestly, could have... Uh, what I should have done right there is I should have just... I, I want to save the monsters on board, but I could have just went into the other Exceed monster and then searched the other level 4. That's what I could have also done uh, with the... And then I would have done 2,000 damage instead of 18. Which I probably should have done. I still don't know what this guy's playing. I don't know what's going on. But we we have pretty good cards. We have Cubic Ascension, Expendable Die. Like, we have we have good stuff here. We have we have some defenses. We have some warriors. Again, I wanted to... Uh, forbidden Droplets. Is he for real? Oh, okay, he wants to send his own card to the grave. Okay, that's fine. He really just forbidden droplets that. Is this guy a warrior, by the way? No, he's a sea serpent. That's such a weird thing. Sea serpent. Does that look like a sea serpent to you? It's like a dude with two guns. Here we go. <sighs> of course, he had the lightning storm. Do we do this and then draw? Yeah, I think we just do that. Because let's be honest, this this uh, Joan isn't doing anything anyway. So we just tribute it. Um, and then we pop something. Anyway, we have Cubic Ascension in the Graveyard Effect anyway, so we're good. We just pop this. Not that it really matters. I'm literally just doing this for the draw. And then, yeah, that we get rid of that. That's all fine. See, it's a good thing I didn't activate the Dark Door. Giant Rat. Wow. That is exciting to see. I guess he's going to go crash into a bunch of stuff you know what's perfect against giant rat crashing into your monsters the dark door <laughs> like absolutely perfect this is a perfect card to play against giant rat ufo turtle uh oh i think we're getting otk'd here actually i, I think they're going to summon that giant monster the one that for every battle that happens it's like it's something something roid i forget the exact name of the monster i think he might be summoning that oh my god yeah i think he might be summoning that monster i think we're i think we're getting otk'd here He gains attack for every uh, for every card. Now, what he doesn't realize is that we have Cubic Ascension. But I don't know. He might just gain more too much attack from attacking into us that he might lose. So he's either playing some sort of uh, self-TK as in he attacks into our monsters and self-TKs himself. Or he's playing the, monster, the, the card that I just said, which is the giant roid monster that special summons itself for every monster that battled that turn. So either way... Uh, this is not a great situation for us. I, the, obviously, there's no way I would have seen any of this coming. This is unbelievable. I would have never seen this coming. This is just complete foolishness. I think this is where he summons the giant roid. I guess, does he? There it is. That's the one I'm talking about. Yeah, and then we lose. This gains a thousand attack for every monster that battled. And then we lose. Oh my god. We cannot catch a break. That was I, I'm not even mad about that one. That one took some creativity, but it was it was a one attack, so we couldn't do anything. So we won the coin flip. We chose to go first. Look at this hand. <laughs> I mean, look at this hand. This is like going second, going second, going second, token, and uh, this would have been discard fodder for something going second. Like this is the like, we go first. And we get hands like this. We go second, and we get like five monsters. I mean, there's nothing we can do. Hopefully, hopefully things things pan out for us. This could go any number of ways right now. I'm not beating this deck. I'm straight up not beating this deck. They got it. I am not beating that deck. 
And the second fall, fall in paradise hits the board. I can't out a single thing they have. I'm not beating that duck. All right, we won the coin flip. We're going first, but... The hand is a little rough, I'm not going to lie. I think we just set the sword and shield card, and we set the dragonies. Just pass. Nothing we can really do. That does absolutely nothing. D-Shifter us. But the thing is, when you get D-Shifter, there's worse stuff to come. Again, with these decks, man. Like, bro, how are you in silver 5 at the... This is the lowest possible rank you can be, isn't it? I mean, actually, bronze is lower than this. But, like, dude, this is low. This is silver 5. How the hell are you in silver 5? What is he playing? Probably Kashdira. Kashdira, Flunderese. Like, I, I, I don't know what this is, but, like... Exo Sisters, like, what is he playing but that he's this low in the ranks? Cash Dira. Like, we just don't, there's not a chance. We don't have a chance against this. Let's say Fenrir. Yep, we're going to get out of here. It's unreal. Today felt like the actual, like, first Masochist challenge we've actually had. Um, again, we just, Santa Claus, we get every single, t I don't know how we get this. We draw this every single game. And uh, we have a million... We have a million warriors, we don't draw any of them, and then we have barrier statue, which is our best opening with no back row. And then our, I don't know what our opponent's playing, but they've got, like, world championship qualifier sleeves. Remember, we are in silver. And this guy's got world championship qualifier sleeves in silver. I think we just do this. And he's got the connection lagging. Hopefully stepped, stepped a little bit out of bounds of where he should be. His Wi-Fi's gone. I, I don't know what he, he's playing because he just, as long as he has a monster that's 1,100 or, or 1,000 or more, he can play. But today's been probably the, the first time we've actually legitimately had like a Masochist Challenge has been today. Because this has been like, first of all, we had the first game, I just did some dumb, dumb nonsense. Game two was its own disaster. 1,800 and I, I mean, yeah, it's over. I, I. I mean, what am I going to do? He's going to just go to battle, attack over this, and then attack again. In main phase two, he's going to make Sarah and do all that other stuff, and then I just lose. Yeah, so I'm just not beating this. And he's going to go into Sarah, and he's going to play for ten more minutes. I, it's over. Yeah, so we are going second. And I, I don't know what we're, what we're playing against, but he's adding a warrior. Which is Rescue Ace. I, to I, I swear to you, somebody was telling me, like, like in the comments, they were like, you know, I, I can't believe you're playing those kinds of decks in silver. That's what somebody said in the comments last time. Dude, I've been playing non-stop meta decks. All I play against is meta decks. Every deck I've played has been, like, tier 3 and above. Other than our, our first duel today, other than that first duel, every deck has been tier 3 and above. It's, it's insane. It is insane. And now I have to figure out... A way to make things happen right now. Um, Alright, so we're going to set this. We're going to normal summon this dude. And then we're going to special summon the Iron Dragon in one of these two columns to out one of these two monsters. Max C. Always nice to see that. The one time it actually comes in handy against us. I'm going to do this. And he probably has some sort of protection. Okay, good. That will stop me from having to attack that. Monsters unaffected by your opponent's artifacts. Okay. It is not destroyed by battle. It's 3,700 attack. All fun stuff. And that is an even bigger monster. Okay. We can go into the Sioux ship. Or this thing, this surge is a normal monster. This needs to do damage. Both of their defenses are stronger than our attacks, so we can't do anything with that. I I don't even know where we go from here. So we just pass. I guess we just pass. We have Vijam, right? I mean, again, this has been nonstop. Just we played against two bad decks, like two two decks. I would say not even bad, like two decks on our level, and it's been meta decks ever since. In silver five. By the way, in Silver 5. It's been meta decks ever since. Yeah, we're going to Vigium on this dude because he just has the most attack. He probably has an Ash. Of course, he has an Ash. He has a Maxi. He has an Ash. He has everything. 
Because we're playing against, like, I don't know who this is. Like, uh, we're playing a YCS champ here. He's got everything he needs. All right, let's see. Our life points are not lower than 2,000 in our opponent. Uh, now they are 2,000 lower than our opponent, so we can actually activate this now. But I don't think it benefits us in any way to activate it, so... Hyper Hammerhead. I mean, does this, 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 this even help anything? Like, it's okay, like we return this and then what, you know? This special summons itself, this special summons itself, and this like summons, like, I, I, I don't really like have anything that I can really do here. I guess we Sonic Chick, okay. And during our opponent's turn, we have the, uh, the Vidjom. This has been unreal. Like, literally every deck has been a meta deck. It's like, it's, it's it, well, not meta deck, but like, it's been at least like tier three and above. I have nothing, no choice here. He has Ash again. No, he doesn't. All right. I wouldn't even be shocked if he did. He summons Hydrant. That's not good. But now he gets to search every single turn during the main phase. He gets to search for a Rescue Ace monster. And this deck is so slow that this duel actually seems playable. Wow, I never saw that animation. Actually, that looked really cool. Four Rescue Ace spawn trap cards. They can set four Rescue Ace spawn trap cards from their deck. Yeah, I, I think that's it. This isn't, I, you know what? Four Rescue Ace spawn trap cards. What do they say? Are any of them a negate? Target one monster. Four Rescue Ace spawn trap cards. That is unreal. <laughs> now this this chick's coming out. She's really good. I'm just gonna check out this draw and then I'm gonna scoop or not scoop. This is this is insane. Bro, every deck has been tier 3 and above. It's... I, I'm in shock. In silver 5. This is one... This is one tier above, like... like I, I just got my starter deck. This is one tier above that. It's that just That's just insult to injury. I don't even... That is insult to injury. We draw the Fire Barrier Statue against Rescue Ace. That is just... Insult to injury. All right, we, we cannot give up hope. Hope today is not our day whatsoever. Every hand has been absolute garbage that we've had. Not that you can really build a good hand with a like, like we have good cards, but we don't have good hands. But our hands have been terrible. Our uh, our hands have been terrible. Our 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 just everything's been terrible. I should have just why didn't I set Twister? Our hands have been terrible. Everything has been horrific. We've been playing non-stop meta decks. Other than the first two duels, we've played nothing but meta decks. Our pack was shit. It's, it's been... This is the real masochist experience. Every other episode has been like a honeymoon phase. It's been great. And and, and then the frustration is leading to my own misplays too. I should have set the twister. I mean, it doesn't matter now. But now he flips our monster. Not that it mattered in any way. But it's been, this has been like the real masochist challenge. This is like playing against full meta decks in Silver 5. It's a good thing we have this Twister. It's a good thing we have this. I'm actually kind of happy that I left that in my hand. Because now I can uh, chain it to uh, Eternal Soul out of nowhere. So, But we have multiple. What's, what's good here is we have multiple outs to Eternal Soul. So when he gets Eternal Soul, starts building a board... We have Twister plus we have Cross. We have we have something. This is not again. This is depending on. First of all, that's a cool field. Depending on the degree of his Dark Magician deck, I don't know where it's at, but depending on his Dark Magician deck, this could be a winnable one for us. I don't know how many stupid bricks he's playing, but this could this could be the kind of matchup we do have the chance in. Now, one frustration is he does have the... One frustration is if he puts that dragon into play, then we pre pretty much don't have a chance here. Because, obviously, Eternal Soul... We, there's nothing we can do against... If when, when that Eternal Soul is protected by the dragon, there's nothing we can do. Why did he bother to put that other card on the top of the deck if he can't search anyway? What was the point of that? I mean, no, he put the other card on the deck, the fusion card, and then he shuffled his deck. I mean, just, I don't know what to say. The thing is, they can make misplays like that. They can play cards like Swords of Revealing Light. They can play bad cards, but their deck is just better. So, 
you know, it's going to it's going to lead to better outcomes no matter what. This sword and shield card is another one I might remove. I'm I'm thinking about it. It's not the best card, but it, it's I I, I want to pull something better. But in a lot of cases, this card is actually quite decent. Thank God he didn't have a circle on board. It would be nice to tribute this card for the Karaz, but we have we can't we can't save it in any way because we have the the Ferris wheel. This Ferris wheel has been very lackluster lately. The thing is, this guy's deck isn't even good, but it's constructed. So, automatically, just because it's constructed, it's going to be better than our deck. Because a constructed deck is better than, like, a random pile of stuff. So, even if it's poorly played, even if it, it doesn't matter what it is, it, it's still going to play better than our deck. But, I, I would say we have some plays. Technically, I could have activated that to save myself some life points here. And I probably should have. Um, so, this one, the monster's destroyed. It goes to the bottom of the deck, right? Bottom of the deck. Okay, so I think I should have activated that earlier. And I will activate it now. Target this to change its attack and defense. I'm going to do that first. Then I'm going to destroy it with the Amazonist trainee. I don't want it in graveyard because uh, this because Rod actually does float. So I don't want Rod in the graveyard. So now I summon the Amazonist trainee. And then I f enter battle. Then I flip the attack and defense. If he activates Eternal Soul, we twist her. But if he activates the Eternal Soul, I just realized I can't even attack. Alright, we just end here. No, 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 we don't end, we don't end, we don't end, we don't end, we don't end. We set the Twister. We set the Twister, and now we end. The mistakes that are being made are just disastrous right now. But it's fine, like, we destroy his board if he act. Oh, man. That's like the worst case scenario we could have possibly had. That is one of the worst case scenarios. Once that's in play, like this whole duel just starts falling out of out of uh, possibility. Damn, now he's got Biss deals and stuff. Of course, I've got my, my one light monster. This has been just misplaced central today. My misplay was accidentally clicking the chaining off, and now my other misplay is forgetting that he has a uh, Swords of Revealing Light on the field, but I guess it's going to save us 100 every single time, but I, then I should have just done it earlier. You've got to be kidding. This guy's a moron. You can't make this stuff up. Like, why would you do that? He's going to make it so my card isn't as bad as the misplay that I did is. He actually saved me a little bit. It's nice. Nice of him to save me from my own stupidity. And that goes to the bottom. And he gains some attack, but... Or she gains some attack, the Amazonist monster. Yeah, there's nothing to activate. Until he activates Eternal Soul, there's just nothing I can do. But for some reason, he's the only Dark Magician player I've ever met that doesn't shotgun Eternal Soul. He's the smartest, he's the smartest moron I've ever seen in my life. Then again, I'm, I'm not, I can't be one to speak. I misplayed like... I misclicked. Yeah, there's nothing I can do. I, I just have to wait until he activates this. He has reason to. That just doesn't do anything for us. I mean, technically speaking, we save more life points by summoning this than not summoning this. Because we can normal summon this, set this. We can summon this in attack and then special summon this in defense. So technically speaking, we're putting more things on board that prevent our opponent from like beating us right now. I, I, I am shocked that this guy just will not activate his eternal soul. Like, I, I don't know why. Yeah, this way we put more things onto the field so that he can actually, like, you know, not, not destroy us right on time. He could have chained that to the Marauding Captain. Again, our opponent can make a thousand misplays, and, and still it's like it doesn't matter. But we make, like, one misplay, and it's like the end of the world, which is, which is you know, why it makes the challenge kind of fun. Finally, well, let's see if he activates. That's fine. We're waiting. Add one Dark Magician. Now we activate it. Okay, perfect. And now we activate it. Chain there. Bam. All right. Nice hit. Now the problem is he's got Soul Servant in Graveyard, I believe. So 
Uh, no, he doesn't. He, he banished it. Okay, that's fine. So now he's kind of like in a slower, right? This doesn't do anything on field. This doesn't do anything on field once it's already activated. This doesn't do anything but prevents us from attacking. I don't know what this is, and I don't know what these cards are. To, to my knowledge, I don't know what they are. But Dark Magician is a super consistent deck. There's a million ways to get to Dark Magician. There's a million ways to get... You see, this is what I'm talking about. There's a million ways to get to Eternal Soul. There's a million ways to get to all of these cards. So it, it really doesn't matter... Oh, he puts the Eternal Soul from the Graveyard back on top of the deck. Now he's going to draw it. Okay, that's not that bad. And the next turn, if he activates it, uh, what we have is Karaz, actually. But the problem is, again, we, we summon Karaz, we pop his card. That's 100% fine, right? We know we pop his card, summon Karaz. But the issue is, um, if we attempt to do that, it doesn't really even help because we pop the card, then we let him draw again. And, and, and his deck is very, 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 very consistent. And that's kind of the issue with what's going on here. Which card was the Eternal Soul? It was that one, right? Yeah, it's right there. It's that one. So we can tribute and then pop the pop the card he just set, and then he can chain link to Special Summon. Like he can do that. I think that's what we're going to do. We still still cannot attack. It's like so many turns into the. I, we have no choice but to do this. By the way, so we're gonna summon this. And we're going to activate Karaz. Yes. We're going to pop our own card. Let's pop this. Do we pop our own card to draw? Is the question. I mean, I think we have to pop our own card, right? No, we don't. No, we don't pop our own card. And then if he chains it, that's fine. Because his card's still designated to go to Graveyard. Regardless. So if he changes it to Special Summon to banish one of our cards, it doesn't even matter. We technically put up, could have popped our own Karaz. And then he gets to draw off the card anyway. Yeah. Uh, we still can't... We still cannot attack, which is, like, insane. This has been, like... Swords are revealing... We're dueling Yugi. This 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 Swords are revealing... Like, that Swords are revealing was, like, so plus for him. Yeah, we should have popped our own Karaz, probably, because this would have gotten an attack boost, and then it would have let us draw... Like, this has been somewhat back and forth, but it's just, been, it's like a tease of back and forth. It's not a real back and forth, because he just has better cards. See, as long as he has a spellcaster and negates the first spell, that's continuous. This card's really good, actually. Um, oof. Here we go. Alright, let's get in for some damage. Jesus Christ, what a draw. That card's good, but he has a setup right now where that doesn't really even, like, it doesn't really matter that much that he did that magic cylinder. Now we're 200 life points away from loss. If he summons Dark... If he manages to summon Dark Magician, we lose the duel. So all he has to draw is Rod or Magician Souls or... The Magician Souls, Rod, the Ritual Monster, like any one of those things, Eternal Soul. If he summons any one of those things and just attacks our monster, we lose the duel. This is the first time we drew the Arcanol B1 all day, and it's been late. Late to the party. This is like unnecessarily, frustratingly close. If he sets nothing and just passes here, that's our best case scenario. <sighs> Man. That's not good. Yeah, he's gonna eternal soul. We have to draw something for this. We have to draw something for the eternal soul. We have to draw something for this. You know what we can randomly really really use? We can use Abyss Deal. Abyss Deal would I have nothing. I have nothing. Eternal like eternal like that's not a bad card. It would have been like a really good earlier. Ooh, ooh, please, 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 let me normal someone. Please, let me normal someone. Please, 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 please. Oh, let's go. Yes. Oh, my God. What a breath of fresh air. Sorry. Can't do it. Oh, my God. I almost had a heart attack. That is... That was some Pharaoh stuff. That was... That was... If I've ever seen it, that's some Pharaoh stuff. Add one. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Add whatever you want, please go ahead. This was some 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 like uh well let's not celebrate too soon. This guy we're dueling against basically Yugi Moto with the uh with the cards he has. 
I don't know what he's got in his deck. We're basically dueling against Yugi Moto. So this can go any number of ways. He'd have freaking Karibo right now. I don't know why there's even anything able to activate right now. Alright, let's go. Please, let it go. What could he possibly have? What does he have? What could this person have? Wow. Oof. That was dramatic. What a dramatic duel. 200 light points. Connection fail. We know what really happened. Man, that was dramatic. This has been a tough... That was a tough duel. That was, that was a grueling four legacy packs. We deserve that. We deserve that. those four legacy packs. We fought like a dog in there. That was terrible. I, I don't even care about looking at this guy's deck. I just want to open a pack. This is the most well-deserved master pack in the history of master packs. I almost had... Ooh, it's a super... At least it's shiny around the edges. We don't know if it actually is because every single time it never works out. It actually is. Uh, let's see what we get here. Enemy controller. I mean, a Gen X controller. Uh, we'll see if we pull stuff that actually helps with that. What is this? All right, this isn't even like that bad. We might play this. It's, it's a trap. I don't know if we play this because it's a trap monster, but it's mad specific. They have to declare a direct attack. If its attack is greater than or equal to your life points, this, all right, we're not playing. This is super specific. Like, or most of the time, our life points are lower. This is like mad specific. And then he, the monster becomes equal to the life points and then inflicts damage. This is so specific. I don't think we're going to play this. It's not terrible, but it's like a little too specific. Uh, all right, this isn't bad stats, but I think it's a little too late for us in even, even otherwise. A Metal Foes fusion card doesn't really help us. This isn't bad. This is actually a good card, but I don't think we have enough wind monsters. But we're going to keep this right in the back of our little minds. Because this is actually quite good. It, it tribute a wind monster, target a card, place it on the bottom of the deck. It's a good card, but we're going to keep that in the background. Uh, Tremid Pulse. We don't have enough Tremid cards to make that playable. Holding Legs. Uh, this isn't terrible, but we don't go second enough for this to be usable. If I, if this deck somehow morphs into like some sort of a going second deck, this could be usable. Because essentially this is like... Essentially this is not bad. Like it's spell and trap card removal, but it's going second. So, I mean... Even going... Yeah, like what are we going to do? Like against Labyrinth, is this usable? I don't even know if this is usable against Labyrinth. And then what? They just like... Chain all their stuff anyway. It's not a bad card, but it's a little too specific. For our super... Machina Metal Cruncher. This, I think we play. We can normal summon this without tributing. It's a level 9 monster. Its original attack becomes 1800. That's better than some of our other stuff. If it's normal or special summon, we can reveal 3 Earth Machines in our deck. We don't have enough, but... And then your opponent adds 1 and shuffles the rest back. If we can... If we can get some Earth Machines together... This isn't even actually that bad, to be honest with you. Uh, am I playing any of this stuff? Probably not, but maybe the crystal... I don't even know if we play that. Let's go Let's go see what we got out of the legacy packs. Alright, here are our four legacy tickets. Um, unreal. So far in this series, the legacy tickets have been the MVP. Uh, the mass... The other, that's not good. That, let's read. It's basically an... It, it's basically a monster that becomes... Uh, 2100 if we Gemini summon. That's just not good. Gemini, this is why Gemini's fail, by the way. I, I just, I, every, I should have known the second I saw a Gemini to, to be disappointed. Alright, this is basically a called, uh, Call of the Haunted for, this is like Call of the Haunted specifically for psychics with a bunch of downsides, but the monsters treat as a tuner. Like, it's good, bad, good, bad, good, bad. We don't have any synchro monsters. Jurai Gumo. Ooh, do I... Do I play this? I'm really, really considering playing this. This is a 2200 attack normal summon. And I used to play this when I was a kid. But it, we have to lose half of our life points if we flip the damn coin wrong. Do we even play this? 2200 normal summon though. It's Stat wise, this is there for us. But the downside is horrific. Because... I don't think we can afford to cut our life points in half for a monster that's 2200 attack. If I, if you're not going to play this in 2003, I don't think we're going to play this in 2023. Uh, stat, again, stats aren't bad, but that is just, that's a huge risk. That is a huge risk. Cut our life points in half. All these lights for nothing. I already know. Don't fool me. Not playing Gokibor. 
the first sarcophagus is horrific. Yeah, what were all those lights for? This is what I'm talking about. The, the flashing, the lights, the dramatic, the theatrics. And then we open nothing. Uh, that's... I, we, I don't have all the other Aqua Actress cards. And this is... Is this another Gemini? Alright, so basically, if there's a wind monster on the field, it can attack twice, which we don't have a lot of wind monsters. I don't think we pulled a single usable card out of all of that, except for maybe Jurai Gumo. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we play any of this. We can make the argument that we play the Metal Cruncher. It's an 1800 normal summon. We don't have any Earth Machines to even, like, okay, okay, we have, like, the Super Heavy Samurai and stuff, like, but they're just not, like, good. So I'm not going to fill my deck with stupid bricks because of, you know, one card. I guess this card is technically good because we can double tribute it and then normal summon it so i guess we could probably find space for it uh so if it's either an 18 normal or we double tribute uh this is an earth dark it specifically searches earth machines i don't think we have enough earth machines to really make it usable uh, technically speaking it could be good that's an earth dark, uh, machine dark technically speaking it's better than the zubaba monster but the zubaba monster is a warrior which has synergy with the rest of our deck it's not better than this it's not better than this because technically speaking, again, it's a warrior, so it has synergy with other aspects of our deck. I, I honestly don't even think this card is better than any of the cards that we have in our deck at the moment. It's kind of crazy. It is is absolutely crazy. I, I really don't think that this card, like, it's a good card. Again, it's one of those things that's, this is a good card, right? This is a good card. We have other cards that we have pulled. We have pulled so many good cards that are pieces for other things, but they just, as of right now, are just not really usable. Like, Noctovision, great card. The Hamster is a great card. Like, we have so many cards that are good cards. EMR, oh my, I just realized EMR with the Metal Cruncher would be really good. Because even if we summon it 1800 attack, this checks, I think, original attack original attack so we still get to pop two cards that would be insane uh so we have some like good tricky combinations here we have a lot going on but the problem is right now i just don't think it's useful again jurai Gumo, i think it's just too much to pay for this and we have a lot of like you know what i might take out i might take out the evil eye that has not come up for, for a very very long time i kind of want to try this out the avatar but again it requires too much like life points to be lower life points to be higher I think we, we, we put in the Metal Cruncher for that. Let's just give it a try, and if we don't like it, we'll just take it out later. All right, we won the coin flip. We chose to go first. Fingers crossed we got a good hand. Oof. Jesus. Jeez, that's a good hand. We need, a, we need a moment to just really think about this. Wow, what a hand. We won the coin flip. We went first. Look at that hand. Man, that's where they draw Harpy's Feathers. Damn, what a hand. Cubic Ascension. There can only be one Dimension Slice. All the MVPs of our deck, all in one all in one hand. Jeez. We really do need some better extra deck cards because right now, that, I think that's one of the things really holding us back. Like, we actually are able to, like, slow down the game to a significant margin. But we can't capitalize because we don't have any Synchro Monsters. We don't have any... Uh, we don't, yeah, we don't have any synchros, X seeds. Like, we have two X seeds that are situational. One searches a normal monster, the other one pops a card that when we destroy a monster or inflict battle damage. Like, they're so situational. He's, I don't know what our opponent's playing. He just set one card. I I hope this isn't self DK. Yeah, it's self -decay. You can't make this stuff up. I said, I hope it's not self DK. We finally draw a bomb hand, and we freaking. I would have loved to play play this hand against pearly you know how badly i would have loved to do that you know i would have cashed era or pearly you know how much i would have loved to do that i, I should have just summoned the uh, uh whatever you know how much i would have loved to summon like th th have this hand against pearly like have a call there can only be one you yeah all right come on let's let's see this of course we we play against self tk when we finally draw an amazing hand everything goes right and and we we play against a deck that's going to lose to us no matter what we do um all right let's just let's just win real quick all right so that is the game we draw the absolute most fire hand best hand i think we've ever drawn going first and we're playing against self tk a game we were destined to win no matter what and we get one legacy pack i'll take it i don't really care it's it's all free at this point all right here's our master pack supposedly there's another super in here the last super wasn't bad i actually don't know if it's going to work out in our deck in the long run but it's not bad uh this is not usable i mean it's usable but you know not good uh we don't have enough spell books to make this good 
This is a second copy of the Zubaba Gaga Coat, which I've never read. I've never read. Um, but if you control a Zubaba monster except itself, and this is the only one we have, we can special summon this. And we can target one in our graveyard and then special summon and then we're locked into X Seed. So technically speaking, this is better than the Kanoichi that we have because we can target this with another copy of this and special summon it from the graveyard. So probably switching that out. Uh, let's see. We don't have any junk, so I don't think that's going to help. Poof! Jeez, do I play this? Sukiyomi. Do I play Sukiyomi? I think I play Sukiyomi, right? I mean, it is a mandatory effect to book, but I mean, I, I, does this even like really help us? Like, this is one of those polls where you really got to think, like, does this even help us? Does this benefit us in any way whatsoever? Like, this is a good card, historically good card, but do we even, like, what is this going to help us do? We really, what are we going to, like, book a, book a Dark Magician? <laughs> Like, what are we? I, I might try it out in the deck, but that is so far. I know I'm playing the Zubaba and replacing the Kanoichi with the Zubaba. This I'm on the fence about. Uh, we've got another Master You Can't Unplayable, another Nocto Vision Dragons, two Nocto Vision Dragons, but we don't have any extra deck monsters that allow us to do anything with this right now. Again, this is a card with three amazing effects, three amazing effects, none of which we can use. So, nothing we can do there. And then for the Super, we have. Vision Hero Adoration, which is another hero card, another hero card that we can't use. We actually have two extra deck hero cards, not a single main deck fusion, uh, not a single main deck hero monster yet. So the only playable card out of here is probably the Zubaba Knight. Sukiyomi is a maybe because we do have that Exceed monster that's dark. So maybe that'll come in, but let's go open a legacy pack. All right, here's our legacy pack. We only have one of these. The lights are always liars. Let's see here. We've got uh, this is not usable for because we can't do anything with level modulation. Infernal Flame Emperor. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this might be usable. Yeah, we don't have five monsters to banish, unfortunately. But this is always one of the coolest artworks like ever. It looks so cool. This is exactly what you think of when you think of a pyro monster. It looks absolutely amazing. It just sucks. This is a lion with wings and a six pack made out of flames like i don't know who drew this who thought of this is one of the coolest looking cards i've ever seen that is completely terrible and it can't be special summoned despite having just average two tribute monster stats one of the coolest looking cards ever but also just garbage all right so we're back at our deck i'm like i said i'm replacing the kanoichi with another because we pulled another copy of the zubaba so technically we can summon zubaba with the zubaba uh, we can't special summon zubaba if we control zubaba but we can special summon it uh, also sukiyomi is another one that i'm like i think i'm going to take out the metal cruncher i know it's only been there for one game but i think this is technically speaking better um yeah i think this is better right now interestingly yeah, I, I i we actually there's so many things that we need and there's so many little things that we have. It's it's tough to even. There's a lot of cards that we if we pull we can make the deck significantly better. But we just need to pull them. All right, we lost the coin flip, but our opponent chose for us to go first, so that's always a cause for concern. Our hand is looking okay right now. We have the Vijam. We have the. This guy's glued to it. We can't start a duel without him. If we go first, we have Santa Claus starting. We have Christmas every single time. We have the Vidjom we're going to set. Amazement Wheel, like I said, is on the fence. Because that card that card was like absolute go to the first few episodes. And ever since, it just has not come up for us like at all. I think it's just because our deck has just shifted a little bit. It, it It's still good in combination with some of the cards that we have. But interestingly enough, I think we like we pulled a lot of like floodgate effects in the first few episodes and i really actually would like to get oh our old nemesis this should be interesting this should be interesting our old nemesis has returned mr luster dragon yes sir i'd like to put you in the back row hopefully our opponent does not have that that trap card that destroys uh, that spell card that destroys spell and trap cards in the back row but yes i will i do this just because i don't want him having the ability to attack so i can start building up my board a little bit better that's a good draw that is a good ima imagine we have a vidjom 
with actual attack points. Can you believe that? A Vidjam with real attack points. Uh, this isn't really going to... I guess we can set... We can crash this if we need to. But I think we just summon this in attack mode. And if our opponent attacks with something else, then we... Uh, then we do something. Yeah, if our opponent attacks, then we... We can power frame or we can flip flop attack. We can do a lot of different things, but we definitely don't want to Santa Claus right now. I think we summon in an attack because I want to bait my opponent into attacking this with a weaker monster. That's that's the goal. Because I, if I just put it in defense, like, yeah, they like crash into it, but they don't actually do damage to themselves. They don't lose their monster. And uh, yeah, either way, if this thing dies, it's good. If it doesn't die, it's good. Uh oh. Uh oh. All right. This time, I'm not going to turn off the chaining incorrectly. Not clicking this button so we don't accidentally lose to a, a game we're supposed to win if he does manage to summon the gods or whatever. But I swear there's so many people playing the god cards right now. Reactor Slime's a half decent card actually. Let's him summon two tokens, obviously pretty plus, and then you know, with those tokens do a variety of things. But we, we have so many outs to so many things right now. Our, our hand is just this this is the kind of Slow down reasonable game state where we can think where we can play where we can actually do some like have have an interesting game It's not just It's not just a bunch of meta game meta decks Like one after the other that little run was so disheartening where we were just playing nothing but meta after meta after meta Parallel exceed dragon. Okay That is an interesting card. That is an interesting card. Um Do I just let our monster die here? Okay, I, I I don't even know if we just let our monster... Do we just let our monster die? Can we search a warrior that's better than whatever we have going on right now? I, I honestly just think we just let this die because... Yeah, we take a thousand, but we get yeah the effect to search an, a warrior during the end phase. And I think the warrior we're going to search is going to be better than uh, whatever we've got going on here. Now, the question always is... Number one, what do we search? Suki. Oh, we can search Sukiyomi because we can search a spellcaster or warrior. I just remembered that. Okay. Should have known that, but I just remembered that. Uh, we can summon the Greffer. Actually, I just realized that. Do we have another level four? The problem is we don't have another level four. And I think that's still the best search, but we don't have another level four. So we can, if we draw another level four, we can discard Santa Claus, special summon, and then we can go into the Sioux ship, flip the attack and defense and make things happen right now. So I think this is actually the best card to draw right now or to add to our hand. If not, then it's fine. We just set the Sonic chick. Ooh, we drew the other level four. Okay, that's good. Okay, we drew the other level four. Or we could just set Sonic chick and not overextend. We could do that. Um... But I think we do this. Okay. Um, special. The Greffer. Normal. The. This dude. Special summon. Because I would have probably went into this. But we drew it. So no point to. Sue ship man. Yep. Special summon Sue ship. We still have a, a decent defensive like structure here, so it's fine if we overextend to some degree. And now we hit him with this, activate this, flip the attack and defense, go to battle. And then we do not want to activate, well, it would only destroy our opponent's cards anyway. And then we just go to the end phase. Wow, what a neat combination of cards no one would ever have seen coming. We have a Sioux ship, we had a dragonoids to go into a light greffer to discard a santa claus to attach a amazement card to special summon a sioux ship to attack over a, over a firewall xc dragon what a, what a combination of cards all while vidjom defended our life points that was like that was the most that was the most that was a combination of cards you'd never see in the history of time that there's no one should have ever seen those cards in one deck at one time synergizing that well at in one moment okay this is just fantastic oh man zubaba and if we draw another one guess what we get the special summon this one from the graveyard that is this has been an interesting turn of events here 
And what's crazy is we still have protection in the form of the power frame. We have the Vidjom, which they have to out. I mean, the crazy thing is this, this guy's a newer player, so he could have just played the solo mode and just gotten a Raigeki and that outs our entire board. If he just literally just did like the first mission of the solo mode, he has a card that outs our entire board. Monster Reborn. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's the Parallel Exceed Man. Okay, that's, that's fine. I am totally fine with Parallel Exceed Man coming back. I think no matter what, we have to activate this power frame. Yeah, we have to activate it because... Yeah, it's just too important. We need to keep him on board somehow because he's... Uh, it's it's really we don't have anything. Ooh, I don't that doesn't even like benefit. It's crazy that this duel it does literally does nothing against them. I honestly there's a variety of things that we can do, but we have no out to this guy right now. So we can crash and then go in for 18 and then leave him at 2,000, or we can change Vijom to attack mode and then make it so this guy can't attack anymore, and then just kind of make him a useless monster. And just wait. We can also do that. And then when he summons something else, we can inflict battle damage and pop. But if he summons a defense position, then again, we're just waiting on him. We don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what he can draw. So do we play this kind of the more intelligent, slow way? Or do we play just get in and do 18 and then he can turn the tides of the game? But then again, we do have Vidjum. I think we... Uh, Hold on. Proceed to battle phase? No. Uh, I think we do crash here because we we, we have Vidjom and we have not only Vidjom but we have the Sonic Chick. So we do have a lot of defensive capabilities and we have the There Can Only Be One. So our d defense is definitely there. I'm not even going to set the Sonic Chick yet until... I'm not going to set this until he has... Because he again, if he draws right Geki, he wipes our front row. I don't think he's going to OTK us. So the next turn, we can Sonic Chick have defense. If he wipes our back row, it's whatever. It's not really helping us right now. Uh, but we're in an interesting position for sure. And we if he does nothing right now, which is not what I think he's going to do. Yellow Ninja. Damn, that is some decent, some decent stats on that card. Man, okay. But it's fine. We have Vidjom, so our life points are somewhat safe here. That's fine. There's a chance this guy's always also on a Masochist Challenge because his cards seem to be low. Actually, no, but he had the Monster Reborn. I don't think he pulled Monster Reborn. I mean, it's possible. I pulled... There can only be one. Okay, that is really good. So next turn, we start using... We can start using the... Do I even set this? Does it, no, I don't think I set this. I don't need to. Next turn, if we draw a monster, we can start getting in. Because we can attack, put this in the back row, and get a little more aggressive with the Vigom. And then use the Slice if we need to. Okay, he just did it for us. We don't even have to do it. If he attacks our monster, that's fine. Now, he could be baiting us into activating this effect and putting it in the back row, but honestly, this is a play I was going to make anyway, so I'm just going to play into the play that I was going to make regardless. So maybe he's put, making us put it in the back row so that he can Harpy's Feather Duster us. That's a smart play on him, but yeah, I guess he didn't do that. Uh, we need to draw a monster so that we can attack here. Wing Dragon of Ra Yeah, I don't think this guy's playing um, what I think he's playing, but I think that we Vidjom. Yeah, Vidjom, and then no, we don't want to do that. S defense. And then we trigger the Dimension Slice. Banish this dude out of the way. And then we attack with the Amazonish Trainee. Alright, I think... This is good. I think this is good. Things are, are looking good for us. And then we just end here. We still have there can only be one, but I don't think that really helps us. Maybe if he summons like... If he summons the reactor slime, there can only be one. Basically wins us the game. Not wins us the game because he can technically attribute this and then set the, the trap card. 
but he's at 500 and we've got we've got him on the ropes we don't have any burn cards whatsoever but i think we can we used to it's funny because we used to play that fossil burn. okay fine Whew. that is a relief let's go look at his deck that was actually a little bit interesting all right so we ranked up I don't really care about ranking up because, again, we're not going to... It's not going to going to the top. We got one legacy pack. By the way, three wins in a row. Isn't this exciting? Uh, let's see. Confirm opponent's deck. Yeah, this deck is... There's a lot going on here. He's got Monarchs, Ninja, Exo Sister. He's got the God Cards. Luster Dragon, Exodia. There's a lot going on in this. Wow. He has a royal rare Egyptian god slime to pair with his royal rare god cards. The lucky kid. All right, here's our master pack. It's another hollow. Not unhappy. I'm thrilled. Are you kidding me? Uh, but the hollows we've gotten have been kind of lackluster because they've been archetypal. But I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Um, this is. All right, this card is actually not that terrible honestly it's when it's normal summon we can return a spawn trap card and then if it's in the graveyard and your opponent controls no spawn trap cards which does happen like last duel but they had none uh we can just special summon this for free but then we're locked into win beast which means we can't go into the extra deck um but the next turn we can go into the extra deck this is like overall not that bad also we just pulled that wind familiar possess trap card so this is actually not even that bad of a card in all of the contexts that we have but we just Again, we just kind of have too many engines going at once, but nothing really complete, which is, I guess, you know, it's understandable. Dreadmaster, I don't think we're ever going to be able to summon because you need clock, and we're not doing all that. All right, this is not really playable for us. Uh, this is, wouldn't be bad if we had some of the other hands, so I got to keep this in mind. So maybe if we get Ice Hand, Fire Hand, Magic Hand, if we get any of the hands, we might play this. So this isn't terrible. It's like a free special summon, but as of right now, it's not usable. Uh, this is not really playable because, I mean, yeah, if our opponent sets, but obviously we're modern Yu-Gi-Oh, it doesn't really work. Uh, we don't have any Heraldic Beasts right now. This card is really not even bad. And I, we don't have a lot of the Supreme King stuff, but if we did, I might have actually played this, but we don't have it. And then for our Super Rare, it is, you got it, kidding me. This is just... I don't even know what to say. Is this really a super rare? Who made this little idiot a super rare? Wow, okay. I, I'm just... I'm in, in shock. I, I just can't believe that we just pulled this. That is like... What did lack? We still... We don't have any extra deck monsters. Maybe if we had extra deck monsters, that would have been good. But we're pulling a lot of tuners, but not a lot of synchros. Uh, so, let's see what our legacy packs have. Alright, here's our legacy ticket. Let's see what we get. Obviously, always exciting to add any cards to our... Uh, to our deck but those pulls have been a little lackluster uh this is not a bad card but we don't have enough waters and this is uh, i don't know if we have those insects but even if we did this is weak and what insect are we even searching uh let's go see if we make any changes all right we are going first we just won the coin flip our hand is decent i guess it just depends on what our opponent's playing we set the cubic ascension set the twister just in case we just pass here we see what he's playing i mean you know it's 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 a good hand for 2006 but we'll see if he's playing a modern deck we know the end i mean pretty much our our toast but if he's playing like starter deck a lower tier deck how much cards does he have in his extra deck full 15 he's got custom sleeves uh he's got the dragon made mate he's got the the new fire monster cash fenrir just who he wanted to see. We could use an Akashti or a Fenrir, actually. Bistiel Lubelion. Nothing like getting ashed on a cubic ascension. I really, literally don't even know what we can draw to help us right now. We could check this. So now Vidjom's gone. And we only have one copy, so the trap's dead. Nothing here is helping us. Back to square one's not helping us. There can only be one is not helping us. I don't think there's a single card that we could draw that could help us right now. Many searches. Yeah, there's nothing we can do. Alright, so we just won the coin flip. We chose to go first. Let's see what we draw. I don't know how it happens. 
I, I'm not making this up. Every duel that we go first, we draw Santa Claus. Every duel. So we're going to power frame, resonator, pass, hope our opponent's not playing a meta deck. If they're playing a meta deck, we get, our, we get out of here. Santa Claus, every single time we go first. <sighs> I've never scooped faster. All right, our opponent won the coin flip. Uh, they chose for us to go first. I think we just set the hammerhead. And I don't know if there's even a point to set the power. I mean, I guess we set the power frame. When, uh, that way it's just active later. Technically, we could have... Uh, technically, we could have normal summoned the, the hammerhead. But power frame is like good mid-game, but not right away. Our opponent... Has a newer mate. He's kind of got our field going on right now. But he's already got blue eyes, which isn't good. I mean, it just depends how good of a blue eyes deck this is, right? He has 13 cards in his extra deck. So, it's not super complete. I mean, I guess that part is... Okay, that's good. This is good. It's good stuff. It's great to see. Now, he's going to attack... His monster's not destroyed. And this is going to return to his hand. Yeah, now it returns to his hand. And then this is just going to do some straight damage to him. Sukiyomi has the exact attack that this guy has defense. I don't think Sukiyomi. Sukiyomi is just one of those cards that just hasn't been really helping us. Okay, that's pretty good. Expendable die plus Subaba is pretty good. Sukiyomi is another one that's just like he's a, this 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 chick is on the cutting block because she hasn't really been like she's searchable. That's awesome, right? She's searchable with the Dragonius. Like there's, there's some good things going on, but um, she's on the chopping block. Is like like I said before, like in like as hype of a pull that as that might have seemed. Like in modern Yu-Gi-Oh, her stats suck. She books herself sometimes. Like, sometimes if I was to normal, like, I go first, I normal summon, poof, books herself. Like, she books herself. Her effect is mandatory. She returns herself to the end, to my hand during the end phase, so she doesn't stick on the board in any way. Like, there's so many downsides to this, but, like, there is the off chance that it, she, she does help occasionally. <laughs> Lava cool. I, I, I swear, I swear to God, I would love for our opponent to Lava Golem us. I could, I, that's like a dream of mine. With our deck, I would love our opponent to Lava Golem us. This guy is really cooking right now. Dark Hole. This is disrespectful. He didn't even he didn't even feel like the Dark Hole. He, he didn't feel like wasting a Dark Hole on us. That's how that's how crap our cards are to him. He's like, this guy really sucks. I'm not even gonna Dark Hole his monster. We could leave him there. But we'll, we'll teach this guy respect. We'll teach him some respect. Now, if he summons Chaos Max, we actually are perfectly fine with that because we have we have the power frame now the problem is he's also got okay 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 i actually don't want to do this because he has the freaking yeah he can discard and then yeah 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 i know nothing i can do here he has the stupid uh this dude jet jet has been a pain in our but like really bad he's been like a little too annoying for us but jet like jet is really really actually quite good because he's he's difficult to out if he's just in circulation like right now he can summon jet and there's nothing i can really do actually yeah, i'm gonna wait till he activates his effect targets me and then I'm going to activate the, uh, ooh, that's not good. There was no, no way I would have known that he was going to do that. I don't, he didn't add that off of anything. Yeah, there was nothing I could have done there. He's going to make all monsters level 8, which includes this guy. There was no, there's just no way I would have known that, unfortunately. If he has the right cards, we lost this duel already. If he has number 100 and he has Draglubion, we pretty much lose. Actually... We might not lose. Cypher. 
Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So he can target one of our monsters to steal it, but then I'll tribute it and pop a card and draw. That's what I'll do. I'm just waiting him to, like, target something. We're just not targeting anything. She's like, he's not forcing me to commit to anything right now, which is, like, good for me, but, like... He's not forcing any commitment out of me. He could have stolen my monster. He could have popped him on. He, got, he went all over here. He's going to detach. He's going to do so much to target. What is he targeting? That power frame. That sucks. That is not the card I wanted him to target. I want. I was hoping to keep that, but I mean, there's nothing. Up now that, that This dude comes back. So what he does is he protects all cards except for himself from getting popped. So... I'm going to pop him when he comes out is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop him and draw a card. But I'm going to wait till he enters battle phase first to do it. Because obviously he's the only one on the field that can get destroyed right now. These two cannot. Okay, so now I kind of have to do it. He forced it. But what's good is this can't attack anymore. And since I get rid of the other level 8... He won't be able to exceed summon. So I'm going to go ahead and try to pop this. And then I'm going to draw a card. So the only thing that he can attack with right now is the Cypher Blade. This is this is probably getting cut out of our deck sometime soon. But again, I just don't have other cards that would benefit more than this card as of right now. He's one monster that can attack. But man, this is... There's not a lot of things that I can draw right now that can help us like at all. Back to square one is not even like really a helpful card right now. Okay, this pops card, so I know that's not helpful. I mean, okay, we're going to back to square one, discard the arm dragon. Arm dragon's another one. I want to cut him, but like, I just don't have anything that's. He has a blue eyes in his hand, so I definitely don't want to put this. Like, and this he can summon any time, which sucks. Set that, set that. Oh man, I just realized he could just pop this with the blue eyes anyway. And then summon jet, but alright, whatever, whatever, whatever. Like, what, this card is a card I want to cut so badly. It has, ne it's, its effect to destroy a monster has never come up, ever. It has never come up. Um, it just is not good. It's just the best 24 that we have compared to the other 24s. It's a card that I really, really, really want to cut. There's, there's like most of these cards I don't want to cut, right? I don't want to cut this. I don't want to like these. I'm fine with having these cards in my deck. Um, I'm fine with the Zubabas and I'm fine with the Power Frame. Like I'm fine with a lot of these cards being in my deck. But like some of these cards need to be cut so badly. Like Arm Dragon level 5 has been long overdue to just be cut from the deck because he just. He just doesn't really come up as much as you would ever imagine. And this time I'm going to actually wait for him to enter the battle phase. The last time I, I, I blew it. Oh, never mind. He's just going to go into an X seed. Alright. That doesn't help. Oh, he probably just bought multiple of the deck. So he's going to be able to go into the 3200 attack guy again. Oh, 4,000. Uh, actually, we st it's still, we're still in the game. Okay, so I'm just going to chain to that. While I still can target light monsters with card effects, I'm going to target this light monster with card effects, and I'm going to survive with 600 life points. I'm going to, I'm, I'm a fighter. I have to be, I have no choice but to be a fighter. Yep. We, we, I told you, you have to, you can't misplay. You can't even make one small misplay and you, you still lose. So we need Vidjom. That's who we need. The straight up, that's the card that I would love to draw right now. Vidjom is like the monster that would help. Iron Dragon. Can't summon him. Can't summon him. Can't do anything. That's the game. Wow. That is unreal. Nothing we could have done there. Uh, I'm going to try to morph the deck around a little. All right, so we got to make a few changes here. Um, I'm going to probably take some stuff out. I need to I need to morph this deck around. We need more spawn trap cards. I'm, I'm actually going to tank out the Tsukiyomi. It's searchable. It's nice, but like it actually hasn't helped as much as you would think. I'm actually probably going to put the um, 
light imprisoning mirror back into it. I'm, I, the dark door actually in a lot of these duels actually would have been somewhat helpful. But light imprisoning mirror, I think I'm going to go ahead and put back in here. We've been playing a ton of blue eyes, so I'm going to put the light imprisoning mirror back in. I'm just going to save that. Uh, Tsukiyomi. I just need to reduce the amount of monsters we have. We have so many monsters. We need more spawn trap cards that are just like good removal uh, that we need to play. We have cards that we pull that do like similar things, like holding legs, the similar things to this Samorg bird, which is like decent, but not like really good. Um... It can summon itself back like it can do some cool things but we just need better things like this is good but it's just you know we're, we're, we've got we've got a few things building up but we need to really like figure things out all right so we just won the coin flip we chose to go first not a bad hand at all uh we got vigion we got the barrier statue i mean i guess you, the better opening is the barrier statue right i mean it's usually the better opening a, a, expendable die we just have a bunch of cards that don't really work together Unfortunately, we don't have any warriors, but the reason I usually set this card is, uh, I, like, you know, you would think that setting it is a bad play most of the time, but what's, what setting it allows us to do is if we normal summon a warrior, we can chain this and then pop a card. I don't think we're going to win this because he drew, he's playing Dark Magician, so he already has the out to the barrier statue, which is already not so nice to see, uh, but outside of the barrier statue out you know it's crazy like i played consecrated light but when he's got already access to circle um, this is already not looking good and he's got already this he's got like a really good dark magician opening hand here i, I don't think we can win this i mean let me check his extra deck he's got a full 15 yeah I'm not, we're not winning this our hand is just really i mean i'll just skip to see if we if it's if if we end up scooping wow foolish burial I've never seen this played in a Dark Magician deck, ever. Foolish Burial. You have so many cards that do the exact same thing, that's just a little shocking. He has already Eternal Soul in the loop, he has a lot of stuff in the loop, so... Right, he that literally does the exact same thing. A Dark Magician Girl he sends to the graveyard. But I guess that does drag out the, uh, if he uses the Salvation... Uh, the Dark Magician Girl will summon out the Dark Magician, or the Dark Magician will summon out the Dark Magician Girl, I should say. Basically, if you summon one, the other one gets dragged out. But right now, he can't do that because I have the Barrier Statue on board. So he sent that to the graveyard, and he basically wasted the Magician's Souls, and the Field Spell didn't do anything. Uh, but right now, he has Eternal Soul face down, so unless I have a way to deal, I don't. Unless I have a way to deal with that, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, he's too established. I just I just can't win this duel. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. This has been a rough start to the season. Um, our hand is... It's okay. Our hand is okay. It's not the worst. It's not the best. I have the Dark Door. Like I said, there's a new one that's added. I, it's a little slower. But it's not the worst card in the world. I think I'm just going to normal summon this because it has more attack than defense. I'm just going to pass here. It's not the worst hand in the world. It's not the best. So here's a cool lock that we have. So even if he summons a monster that's more attack than our Photon Crusher, um, we can wait for him to declare an attack and then activate Amazement and then banish it. He's playing Machina and depending on the power of this deck or the... the well, I know the power of the deck, but... Depending on the level of his deck personally, this might be over for us. Because this deck is a very good deck. But he has 9 cards in the extra deck, which is promising already. Like I said, he only has one, only one monster per turn can attack from either of us. Which is actually not good for either of us. Alright, that's interesting. But we have an interesting combination we have, I'm not going to do that. We have an Amazonist Queen that can't be destroyed by battle. And then we have plus that. That is interesting. We have Amazonist Queen that can't be destroyed by battle. Plus we have Big Bang Shot so we can make it do piercing every turn. We also have the Expendable Die. Oh, man, which direction do I go? Because if, I don't know if I'm going to draw another warrior. That's what sucks. 
Okay, I think we take it a little slower, right? We, we, we're intelligent with it, we take it a little slower. So we're going to enter the battle phase. We're going to attack this thing. No, we don't want to activate that effect. Yep, switch that to defense, and then we just have the expendable die. Um, and then we save the Amazonas Queen for later. Hopefully we have another way to summon it. Because I really don't want to, I don't want to have to tribute the Amazonas Queen for the expendable die. I, ju I just don't want to do that because she's actually a really good card in our situation here. Like, she has protection for herself. She can't be, she has, and we have Big Bang Shot. And then on top of that, we have the Dark Door. So we have a lot of, like, positive things going for us. Let's see what he does. Maybe if he, like, enters battle, we can... But it wouldn't even matter. I was going to say if he enters battle, but then he has two monsters that can out our monster. Well, I guess, yeah, I, this is what I said earlier, right? I, he declares an attack, and then we banish the monster that's declaring an attack. And... I, I, I really do want... I, want, I kind of want to pop his card and draw a card, but I kind of want to save the Amazon as queen at the same time. She's been usable... And we do have other... Do I save for the Amazonas Queen? Yeah, I guess we summon the Amazonas Queen. It's just better. And then we... Uh, yeah, we activate this. Banishes monster till the end phase. And that was the only monster that can declare an attack is the Dark Door. Like I said, hopefully we just draw another warrior monster right now. Yeah, his monster returns to the field. This lets him add a... Equip monster when destroyed by battle. I don't think this dude does anything. It's just the token is special summon, special summon. Okay, fine. I was ready to play that out, but connection failed. I'll take it. I really, I really could use a win right now. And we got two legacy packs. Nice to see. All right, we got another legacy pack, another hollow. But again, this really hasn't meant anything. We got to remain positive. Let's 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 kind of have a okay two. Let's remain positive. Um, what do we need? What do we actually need? Uh, we life some extra deck stuff, maybe some tribute summon monsters, and a floodgate would be great. Uh, I don't even care about draw cards or anything really, really meta, but that kind of stuff would be good. Uh, we don't have enough worm monsters or any to really make this usable. Medolce Knights, we don't have any Medolce stuff. Uh, we have one other you'll send you card, um, and it's not you'll send you training grounds. World Dino Wrestling, we don't have a Dino Wrestler monster. Vice Dragon is actually a playable card. Um, this is a free special summon. Its original attack becomes halved. That can be a decent card in us. We we do have the Dragon card that we pulled a long, long time ago. If you tribute a Dragon, pop two cards. And we do have some Dragon support. And we do have some Dragon made cards and some other Dragon cards. So we might look into morphing our deck into a dragon deck we'll see but this isn't a bad card we really have to i think we have to really kind of like rebrand our deck maybe we have to go one of two directions i think we create maybe like a, a machine warrior deck or we create like a warrior dragon deck but i think we have to select the direction to go with this because we have too much random stuff that just does not synergize whatsoever and occasionally we have some really really cool synergy but in a lot of situations we actually have just horrificness where we just have cards that are drawn out of order so we might have to re reinvent our entire deck uh this is not as good as i was hoping it would be because it requires our opponent to have way too many cards and banished and in the graveyard it's just too much going on our first hollow is X Saber requires an X Saber monster, a non-tuner X Saber monster, which I don't think we have. Um, this card is actually not bad. So if we ever get that level three X Saber, that is actually really good. You know which one I'm talking. I think Antebellum it's called. If we ever get that level three X Saber monster, we can finally do something. Uh, but this is actually not a bad card if we just had any X Saber monsters. Thunder Dragon Roar. Wow. Okay, we just don't... This is just... This is literally exactly our um, level... Arm Dragon level 5, but with even, even less usable. So, unfortunately, the only usable card is possibly Vice Dragon. This could be usable if we ever get the X-Saber Antebellum. And this is not... I mean, it's usable technically, but we're not going to use it. 
All right, so now our legacy tickets, we have two packs. Honestly, I'm starting to think that when the cards don't shine, they're actually better. <laughs> when the packs don't shine, I'm starting to, oh man. What in the world could that be? I don't think we've I don't think we've gotten any URs from the legacy packs. I'm kind of excited, I'm not gonna lie. Troop dragon, more dragon stuff. I think we're getting pushed in a direction here. This card is destroyed by battle, you can special summon troop dragon. We only have one. So hopefully we get another one eventually. Maybe. Wow, Tyrants Throws. Tributing two normal monsters. Neither player can normal or special summon effect monsters. That is not even bad. Technically, it's not even bad, but we just have absolutely no way. That is like really good if we can summon two normal monsters. I did ask for a floodgate. I did ask for a floodgate, but the problem is I, I don't we don't have any way to really do this. Like we just don't. We have the magic key. We have the Ojama. You know what's crazy? We have oh my god, I just realized we have the Ojama yellow. And we have that trap card. That multiplies Ojama yellows. And this would... And then we have this. But it's like a three card combo. That unfortunately just doesn't work. This card is... If we can resolve it, we pro more than likely... Like 99.9% .9 of the chance... We win the duel if we resolve this card. But I, I don't... I don't think we can resolve this card. Yeah. It, I swear to you. If we can resolve that, we win. But I, that is not an easy card to resolve. All right, let's see. Elemental Hero Voltic. This is our first, our first Elemental Hero main deck monster. And we have a few Elemental Heroes. Um, so when this card inflicts damage, we can target a banished Elemental Hero return and special summon that. That's not bad, but we don't have any of that. Uh, this is just not all that great at all. Um, yeah, it's just not great. But, I mean, I guess we got it. It's a warrior that burns if our opponent tries to burn us. Um... Yeah, not not a lot of usable stuff. All right, so our opponent chose to go first, so our hand is looking half decent, not the worst. I, I've I've definitely seen worse. Like I said we we have a lot of random engines that are like assembling in the in the background of all of this. Uh, if this guy's playing labyrinth, then we normal summon the barrier statue. That might actually be really good. Barry Statue is kind of crazy. It won us that Dark Magician duel, which is, like, insane. Alright, I don't know what he's playing at all, so it's, this, is, this is a tough one. I don't, I don't you know how to react to this. I, I, I mean, do we get rid of the Battle of the Elements? He seems like he has a slow, slow deck. We could just attack or pop this, get some information, and then make our decision based on that. Or we can just Amazon his trainee, attack over it, hope it's a monster that floats, that he's trying to float with, and then we just put it on the bottom of the deck, so I think that's what we do. Let's see what it is. I mean, do we even get to see what it is if it goes to the... Oh, yeah, we do get to see... Oh, nice! Goes right to the bottom. Um, and then we just main phase two. I think he's playing the zombie structure deck, maybe. Or, like, he didn't buy a lot of them, but he bought some zombie structure decks, and now he's playing with them. Amazon his trainee is the perfect card against zombies because if they go to the graveyard uh, if they don't go to the graveyard they never do anything so if we keep setting zombies and we keep shuffling them into the deck absolutely perfect and what card was that the shinobi right shinobi's actually has a graveyard effect yeah if another zombie special summon well, this card's in the graveyard you can summon it back can't do that if it never hits the graveyard <laughs> this is another another one of our great moments sharon nui solitaire that card gets banished it does great stuff but i'm not going to let him banish it I'm not going to let him do it. Now, this can be... One of these can be a Sharanui um, Swallow Slash, which that card is actually quite good. Now, one another thing that kind of sucks here is we have the Barrier Statue, which is fire. And he's playing Sharanui's, which are fire. Um, now, I can Photon Crusher just to make sure that his monster gets destroyed. I think I'm going to do that. So, I'm going to enter battle. He doesn't seem to be putting up any resistance to any of my things right now. Perfect. That goes into the deck, and we gain more attack. And then Photon Crush is going to do some nice damage, and we're going to go to main phase two. I don't think there's anything worth doing. I don't want to trigger any of his back row for any reason whatsoever right now. So I'm just going to... We're just going to let things happen. We can go into the Sioux ship too and start popping things. 
I don't know what any of this back row could be. I definitely got to look at whatever our opponent's playing because this is interesting to say the least. Yeah, I think we just barrier statue. Normal summon this. Flip this to attack. So he is playing like half zombie, half Sherry Nui kind of a situation. I don't know if Barry Statue is going to slow him down because he is playing the Shara Nui's. I don't, again, I, I think he's playing... I think he's playing the Barrier... Not the Barrier Statue. I think he's playing Shara Nui's comboed with zombies. Like the Structure Deck and then the Free Structure Deck that you get in the... The Free Structure Deck that you get just by playing the Solo Mode comboed with the Zombie Deck that you just buy in the store. I think he's just playing that, so... I don't know to what degree any of this stuff is. His extra deck is limited. This lets him summon a zombie monster, a Sherry Nui monster from the deck. He can summon even the best ones, which is, uh, what's his name? Solitaire, Sherry Nui Solitaire. He's not going to, he's gonna summon the samurai, which is fine. He can finally out the Amazonish trainee this is a permanent buff, by the way. Okay, he's actually going off a little bit. Not like too much, but he is going off a little bit. His life points are low, which is like good for us. He can finally get rid of this Amazonish trainee. This Amazonish trainee put in work. Like it absolutely put in work. Any monster destroyed by battle is banished instead. Okay, so she's gone. We have no recursion whatsoever. Uh, let's see, is his thing till the end of the battle phase? It is till the end of the battle phase. So, we have so many options here. We can go into... I don't think he... I think he has all fire, so I think this card's dead anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and just parallel Twister. I don't, again, I don't know what he has. And I'm going to try to destroy the Shiren we saw. Okay, so I'm just going to go into battle. And I'm just going to attack. I'm just going to attack. Hopefully we, we got this one. 1,000 damage. Target a zombie in the graveyard special summon. I should have attacked with this monster first. Of course. He has Sherry Nui's under my barrier statue. Yeah, this was my mistake. I should have attacked with the other one first. That was... No, I don't want to replay the attack. Alright, it's fine though, it's fine. We're still in, in, in a decent situation here. Um, I think we just set the resonator, and then if he attacks it, we have we have more stuff to do. We still have access to Mr. Mr. Suship, the fire Suship. Suships are technically usable under the barrier statue, which is another like cool random synergy that we have here. But we definitely have to like revamp this deck for sure. We have to like look at it a little. I mean, to be fair, when we lose, we're losing against like good, constructed, fully complete decks. So it, it's tough for me to be kind of like hard on myself when in reality, whenever I do lose, it's against like decks that are way above my level anyway. So I can't really be too, too hard on myself. Now I'm a little dumb because I actually should have left this in my hand uh, because this gains 3000 attack if i reveal a dark and an earth and i have an earth and i had a dark but i just set the dark face down for no real reason then i could have won right there maybe i should have set the sioux ship right maybe i should have made the sioux ship sometimes i feel like i'm not playing aggressive enough and sometimes i i, I get over aggressive and i just lose but this is just a crazy coincidence he has to be playing a fire deck when i have my fire barrier statue like both times, we've had the fire barrier statue three times uh, today. Number one was against a, uh, Rescue Ace. Number two is against these guys. And then the time before this, it was the, uh, uh, it was Dark Magician and won us the duel. But like, like, it's definitely a good card to play, but we just kind of got unlucky. It's one of the least used attributes in the game, and we just happened to, happened to, uh, draw into it okay that doesn't really help us at all guess we just set the sonic chick that's an earth yeah we still have an earth we got to draw a dark and then we can win 
Or I can attack over that, I should say. Yeah, again, this marauding captain, like, it just, sometimes it just doesn't do anything for us. Like, you would think it would help us. And this all could have been avoided if I simply attacked with the photon crusher first and with the barrier statue second. But, like, like how in the world was I supposed to play around? Did he activate this previously? I think I might. He might have, right? Yeah, I didn't play around the haunted shrine. If I had played around it, then... I guess I would have been in a better situation. And now we're playing against a fairly a fairly competent deck here. We just need to figure out a way to do... If we draw, like I said, if we just draw... If he leaves a weak monster on board and we just draw a dark monster, I think we can win this duel. I mean, we can win this duel even if he doesn't do that because, it's, you know, we, we could just attack... The Vanquish Soul is a quick effect to make itself 3,000. So if we just draw a Dark Monster, we can... We can essentially win here. But we have two monsters that are, are a little tougher to out, which is nice. Did I take the Amazement Wheel out of our deck? I hope I didn't, because this has zero... Sometimes this, it just happens where I, I, I take out a card and immediately the next duel, it's like, oh, now it's used. All right, let's say... Let's see his, his chronological order of his attacks here. So it's a good thing he's attacking into this first, because if he attacked Sonic Chick with this thing, it wouldn't have been destroyed. I mean, our Sonic Chick would have been destroyed. It's fine that that got destroyed. Now he has to out the rest of our board. But again, he's very low on life points, which is like kind of good for us. So, and, and again, we can't really like capitalize on any. It's like we don't have any synchros or even like a good two tribute monster that would have been nice. Like, there's so many things that. Would have been useful, right? Like a, two, like a nice two tribute monster would have been like perfect, right? Because we just. But we'll see what we draw. We can definitely. There's definitely a lot of good things we can draw. There can only be one would be perfect right now. Definitely not Great Angus. He's not perfect right now. Hmm. What do we even do? What is he, a fire? Yeah. So he's a fire, so at least he can make Pluton 3000 defense, but. How much does that really help? We can Santa Claus over something, but then we just give him a draw. Great Angus doesn't do anything at all for us. I, I think we just passed, nothing we can do. This is what I said, we really need some better spell and trap cards. We really need some better spell and trap cards. Our spell and trap cards are like the definition of lackluster. Like every one of them has the most niche like effect ever. Like we need something like a storming mirror force and or uh I, I don't even know what to say like some some generically good trap cards like i obviously we have there can only be one that's like the best well, the best card we could have possibly pulled but like it's a one of in a 40 card deck so and he's like again it's just any even a, a person like this guy honestly isn't even that bad of a player if we're being honest here like even a, a bad constructed deck is still better than our disorganized deck all right, this is just not good. I, I just gave this guy a compliment. Uh, what can we draw that would really help us right now? Vijon would help right now. There can only be one would help right now. Uh, he left this in attack mode and it's 1,000 attack. And he has 700 life points. So that pr it probably wasn't like a genius move here. Big Bang Shot <clears throat> is not really going to help us. But I mean, I, I guess it boosts our attack. Honestly, he left this in attack mode, which, I mean, this could end the duel. The Amazement Attraction card right now is, like, the perfect card. There's a lot of cards, actually. There Can Only Be One is obviously very good. I can summon Pluton and then reveal a fire and make it 3,000 defense. Ah, yeah, I could do that. Actually, yeah, I'll do that right now. Yeah, yeah, you have to reveal a fire to make it 3,000 defense, so that's what I'll do. And then since he declared the attack already, yep, reveal a fire. And we gain some some life points, or we gain some attack, and now he's at 200, so all we have to do is attack this next turn and we win. And our extra deck is useless. Alright, let's... As long as he keeps this thing on board... Yeah, okay, then we, we probably win. I don't know what his back row is, but as long as he keeps that on board, we can win here. 
Okay, worst case, I'm going to summon this because worst case scenario, he changes himself to defense mode and then he protects our life points. So I'm going to summon that. I don't know what he has face down. Obviously, it could be any number of things. Like he could have Book of Moon, Torrential. Like I don't know what he has face down. Battle phase. Attack this. Let's see, does it go through? That randomly gained attack. Okay, that's fine. What effect does this have? It loses 500 attack. That's fine because we have still 1,700 even if we lose 500. What does this do? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. I should have read this. If this card is banished, I mean... Alright, I guess we have to do this. We tribute this. We have no choice right now. I should have read that. If I kaiju that, I probably would have won. Or if I Santa Claus that, I would have won. That is such a crazy... It's like... It's like misplays, like... But they're like... They're not like real misplays, because it's like, how would I have known that we'd have had, we would he would have had that card? It's like, I have to have like... Like, observation hockey. I have to have like, the shotting gun. It's not happening. It's just not happening. All right, we just won the coin flip, hoping we can get there can only be one, but we don't. We have light imprisoning mirror. Where was this last duel? <laughs> um, we set this light imprisoning. They're not going to be playing a light deck because we have it, so they're going to be playing something totally different. No, I guess we can hope. We can only we can hope, right? We can hope they're playing a light deck. Let's see, photon, blue eyes. Let's hopefully it's one of those decks. So our extremely specific card can extreme just counter exactly their deck. That is not blue eyes. And this is soul absorption. This is not looking good. <laughs> this is not looking good for us. Oh man, this is not looking good for us. I honestly kind of want to quit this more than other duels. Because this is going to take longer than other duels. Okay. Uh, okay, let's... If only we could make the Sioux ship right now, man, that would be... That would be tough if we... What, whoa, what? That light up? Um... I mean, technically, this is stronger than other cards. It's not stronger than the combined attack power that we have on the field right now. So it doesn't really benefit us. If we could summon the Sioux ship, we could start popping their back row and stop them from gaining life points. But unfortunately, we don't have the capacity to do that because this is a level 3. Maybe we just pass here. You know, light imprisoning we still have. Expendable die, but we don't have any warriors. Yeah, this, this, we, 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 next, next, I think we need to pull, like, a few more cards, and I think we have to make a serious change here. We have to go in a number of directions, but we have to do something with this deck, because right now, this has been, this has been a horrific showing. We just keep pulling worse and worse stuff. We're losing duels by a literal hair. Like, so much has been going wrong. I don't even know what our opponent's doing right now. I don't know what the... The objective here is, but he's gaining a little too much life points. I really need to get the Sioux ship going right now. If I draw level 4, that'd be perfect. But then again, now he has that thing in play. We don't know what that is. This is like the most... Like, I'm hopeful for what I'm seeing on the field right now, but at the same time, it's this This seems like a massive waste of time, trainee. Okay, we can summon the Sioux ship now. That's good. So we normal summon. We have the expendable die, too. I mean, technically, isn't the smarter play... To enter the battle phase, attack, 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 because we're out attacking whatever life points he's gaining still. And then if he has like mirror force or something, then we contribute this and then pop those cards anyway. So I think the smarter play is actually to enter the battle phase and start attacking. 
So if, yeah, if he does have something, we can play around it. Whereas with the Sioux ship, we can't tribute the Sioux ship because it's not a warrior. And we're still ahead here on... See, this is the kind of thing I was talking about. This is exactly what I was talking about. So then we cancel here. And we now activate the die. Tribute this. Do we pop the Zoma or do we pop this thing? Cauldron's doing a lot of work for him. And we can... If we inflict a little bit of life points to ourselves, it's not the end of the world. But we also just do more damage to him right now. It's probably better. Because this will gain him 1,500 neck. I think you just let him gain whatever, whatever. This this gives him presence and it inflicts life points. Yes, I want to attack. We drew an absolutely useless card. Absolutely useless. And then I think we just pass. But I guess at least we drew. So that's that's nice. We could really randomly use another copy of the Expendable Die. That's something we can definitely use. But I am, I'm 100%. I must, must, must rebuild the deck. I, I have to restructure it somehow because right now things are... I, I, I'm, not, I'm not very happy with the direction of it. So he's going to gain 1,500 life points now. So this is going to start stacking up significantly here. No, 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 no. What is that? Not fall in paradise. Oh my god. I hope he does not have access to any of the sacred beasts. Oh, I guess he's just activating. Okay, that's fine. He's just activating to gain life points. Which means his hand is fairly dead. So he has to like beef up on life. Oh, I think he's playing a Uriah deck. That's what I think he's playing. The trap monsters, the gaining life points. Okay, that's, that's a good draw. That is a good draw. Okay, so... I think we need to increase our attack power, so we will tribute. Yes, we will tribute this. And we gotta increase the attack power. And we're at 42 on attack power here. I'm gonna save the Twister for the battle phase, just in case he has another Zoma. So I'll attack with this first, just in case he has another Zoma. Or any of the other trap monsters, because I think he's playing a trap monster deck. Okay, that went through. Okay, if he is playing trap monsters, I'm going to save. I'm going to let him gain the life points, but I'm going to save the Twister for the Uriah. If he does have a Uriah trap monster deck, which I think he does because he has Fallen Paradise. He has a trap monster. He has like cards to gain life points. I think this might be another trap monster. So I'm just going to save it just in case because he might have been saving this for later. So he could have like the 3000 attack trap monster. Because right now, even if he gains life points, we still have game on board. He's going to gain 2000. It's fine, because he still has game on board. So whatever we need to do, we'll do. That's fine. He's going to gain 2,000. By the way, like I said, again, this is the first time that this card has been usable. And it's not even the effect. It's literally just the stats. The stats are the usable part. It has nothing to do... This card could have been... If this card was Summon Skull, it would have served this better than this card. It just has been not useful in it. It sucks, but it's the situation we're in. That is... Honestly, if he ever manages to get out Uriah... Cubic Ascension isn't even really that good. It's okay against... It's actually not good against Uriah because Uriah can pop without... Um, and we can't respond. So I guess we got to set all our back row. Hopefully he doesn't pop that. All right, let's go to battle. Let's see if he has those trap monsters or not. If these attacks go through exactly what I thought it was going to be. So we're going to let that happen and then we're going to pop it with the Twister and that's why we save the Twister for now. We're going to pop it with the Twister. I think that is the last of our back row removal. So if that's another Metal Reflect Slime, we're in trouble. Yes, we want to replay the attack. Okay, so let's see. If, is this the final, final, final attack? As long as that is not a trap monster, we should... Yes. Yeah, that definitely had to be our Uriah deck. Let's go look at it. This is the last duel of today because it's getting uh, quite late. Okay, we have one legacy ticket. All right, this is what our opponent was playing, and I it is exactly what I didn't think it was. It it's a, has a lot of trap monsters, but it's actually not a Uriah-focused deck because it only has one Uriah, but it's a 60-card deck. It has everything else at three except for Uriah, which is at one, despite the trap monsters. But let's go, let's go open some packs. Okay, so this is the uh, final pack of today. 
Let's see what we get. We have no hollows. It's fine. The hollows have been absolute garbage anyway. We have a bunch of flashing lights. I, okay, flashing lights for nothing. Battery man AA is not usable. This constellar lets you add a constellar when it's summoned. That's not usable. Pendulum Halt isn't usable for us. I think we have multiple. Alien Brain is not usable. Flameville Baby is a tuner. It's like the worst version of Honest I've ever seen in my life. Dreamland. This is so unbelievably specific. Okay, I think we actually have... We've pulled another Rose card. So this might be usable. If we decide to go in that dragon direction I was talking about in the final card. Cosmo Good Witch. And we don't have any Cosmo monsters, but that would actually not be bad if we had everything else, but we didn't. We actually didn't pull anything good out of this pack, uh, but let's go check out that Legacy Pack. All right, we've got the Legacy Pack. This is our final, final, final pack of the episode. Let's see what this is. Trojan Blast. We have no way to, uh, to do that to our opponent, but okay. Uh, this card isn't that bad. If we had more dinosaurs, I would actually probably play it. Um, but we only have one dinosaur in the entire deck. Uh, this card really isn't that bad. You, you summon it. It can't be special summon the deck. You can tribute summon this card by tributing one dinosaur type monster. Otherwise, it's two tributes. And you can flip it face down. And if you flip it, if this card is flip summon, change all monsters to face down defense position. And then it does double damage to your opponent. Honestly... With as goofy as our deck is, this might actually not even be that bad. Um, but I, I, I just don't, I just don't know. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it for the episode. We need to restructure our deck badly. If you have any suggestions, let me know. Thank you for watching. La, 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 la.